Welcome to DIY RV and Home Camper's Life. My name is Greg. Now, a few months ago, while we were still in South Dakota, um, we picked up a cell booster for our trailer because the cell coverage up there was very sporadic and very weak. So we were hoping to uh, help improve it by adding the booster. And uh, it did. But uh, when we bought the kit, uh, it comes with mounting provisions to mount onto a RV ladder that's permanently affixed to the trailer. And since we didn't have a ladder on the back of our trailer, I had to come up with a different idea. So I went ahead and uh, found some parts, put it together, and uh, I got a video right here that I'm working on, and you're going to see that in a second, on how I uh, built the mount and installed it. And... Uh, Went ahead and uh, gave it a couple months to try out. Driven a couple thousand miles with it on. And uh, it's still up there. Still working great. So I think it's about time that uh, I finish out this video. And uh, let you uh, see how I uh, attached uh, our uh, cell booster antenna to the top of our roof without uh, a ladder. Today we are at the 76 campground in Deadwood, South Dakota. And project for the day is we're going to be installing a Wii Boost Drive X cellular booster for our trailer here. Now, the kit comes with a bracket to attach the booster to a ladder. The only ladder I got is the one that's sitting right there. I don't have any on the back, so I've got to come up with a different solution. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Now, I've got a flag pole holder. This is an aluminum one. So here it is. It's got a one inch uh, hole for the flag pole. Instead of the flag pole, we're going to be taking a piece of one inch PVC pipe, which will slip right in there real nice. And of course, we are going to cut it down. Uh, we're going to take the, and drill the cap right here that I've got. And then we will screw the antenna onto that. That'll allow us to raise it up when we're parked, lower when we're traveling. Now the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole to mount my antenna mast on. Okay, so we got that hole size. Now let's make sure that this washer, and if you see this washer's got a little bit of shoulder, let's see how that fits. Let's give it a little bit more. There we go, now it fits nice and flush. Take that. Let's just test fit everything. Now, as you notice, the threads on the shaft have not completely come all the way through the nut. It is about two threads away. Um, we're going to still do that, but make sure that we use lock uh, tight that they supply on there so it does not come loose. So I am going to go ahead and take that off. We'll go ahead and put some Loctite on. Yeah. It's not going to get any tighter than that. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and put some Loctite on this. And then also right here so that uh, it doesn't come loose either. There it is, nice and tight. Lock that up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and size this to where I want it. So I've got it pressed all the way in. I'm going to drill right through here. That way, that'll allow me to put this uh, thumb screw back in and lock it all the way down. 
this just somewhere. not coming off. Now, take this. Just like that. That's how we're gonna how it's gonna be. Take our Ducco cement. It's supposed to sit in like five minutes. Put some on there. Take this. We just put it on there. Now we're going to twist it. Make sure that. It's clamped in place. Now I'm going to go ahead and change out drill bits. And I'm going to take a cutter pin and I'm going to place that right through there also as a way to keep uh, this from coming off if for some reason it decides it wants to. So. Make sure that we don't hit our while. Just somewhere like this. All the way through. And now, look at that. All the way through. So let me go get a pair of pliers so we can bend that over. There we go. We've got our mask built to hold it. As you see. Now let's finalize and finish up our uh, bolt here. Again, like I say, I'm going to use this nylock locking nut right here. Let's, I know I'm cheating. There. So the threads of the bolt are just barely at the end of the nylock. It's on tight. Let's see how it works. Let's see if we're going to be able to see if we're going to have to modify our wing nut a little bit. So let me get set up. We'll modify it, and I'll come right back. All right, we've got uh, the wing nut kind of ground down just a little bit on the inside to where now we can just take, release it to where it stops. We can lay the mask down or bring it up. And then just really easily tighten it up so it's in place. That way it does not accidentally unloose and come apart and this get uh, thrown off the roof or anything like that. So we've got that part. Now we get to go put this on the roof. So I'm going to grab my stuff that I need. Meet you up on top. So now the first thing I want to do, just as a uh, 
buffer between uh, the mount and the membrane for the roof is I'm going to put some piece of turnabond tape. So I'm just going to get the size I want, cut it. Doesn't have to be perfect, just I want it a little bit bigger than what uh, the base is. So I like it like that. Again, right here is a seam for the roof. I'm going to want that. I'm going to want it to sit like that. Just a little bit inside from the edge, but enough where I can just come up really easily, oh, loosen it up, and set it in position. So right there is where I want it. Take the tape off, and just like that. Again, all that is just a cushion. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now let's get some of our sealant here. Sit right there for a second. <laughs> go ahead and loosen this up so I can flip it like that. That way I can put some right over the holes. Well, it's windy enough to blow you around, blow the camera over. All right, here we go. Get it where we want it. I want to tighten this up just so it kind of is straight. So I'm moving the camera a little bit. That way, hopefully you don't get blown over again. There's one. Make sure she's nice and tight. There we go. Let's get some more of this uh, Siliflex. On it, cover up those screws. Must be some kind of Jeep jamboree or something this weekend. A ton of Jeeps coming in today. 
There we go. Put our fancy dancy cover back on. We'll get it all over the place. Well, there we go. Just a quick, simple video on uh, building and installing the mount for our cell phone booster antenna. If this inspired you guys, if this helped you out, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And until the next one, happy camping.